Hey guys, before we get into the Yi framework development and installation, I'd just like to go over a few things uh, just so you can better understand what Yi is and what it's used for. So, Yi is a popular PHP framework and it stands for Yes It Is. It was started in 2008. To fix, to fix some drawbacks of the Prado framework, but eventually they discontinued uh, Prado development and Yi was released at the end of 2008. So why use it? Well, we know there are a ton of PHP frameworks out there, so why would you choose Yi? Um, one reason is it's very easy to learn uh, it's secure, it works well with third-party code and other kinds of integration, uh, it's high performance due to its caching, uh, it handles errors well, it's flexible, it has excellent documentation and samples, uh, it also has a, a really good following, so when you go to the Yi support forums, um, you can get a lot of answers and information from there. Okay, so the technology and design patterns that Yi uses. So, I believe you can have you can run Yi on PHP 5.1, but it's definitely recommended to have 5.2 or newer. Um, even better would be 5.4. Uh, Yi uses an object-oriented approach, much like most frameworks, uh, along with model view controller, like most frameworks. Uh, it does have a front controller routing system um, and you can access different controllers through the URL depending on what link you're, you're going to. Uh, and there are also options to have more search friendly um, links. It uses Active Record, uh, or it's actually called C Active Record. Uh, it just makes dealing with the database much easier uh, and it also includes unit testing so if you've ever used if you've ever used Ruby on Rails and you, you've used their testing it's pretty similar um, actually Yi altogether is kind of similar in my in my eyes to um, Ruby on Rails except it's PHP and not Ruby uh, it's best to run Yi on an Apache server uh, so we're using XAMPP, which includes an Apache server, so we should be fine. Yi is best used for social networks, e-commerce, shopping carts, forums, content management systems, portals. Um, these are just some things. These are these are actually larger applications, but Yi can can be used for small applications as well. Um, even just basic websites that just need a little bit of dynamic functionality. Uh, Yi is actually a good, good choice. Installing Yi. So it's pretty easy. Uh, it's a little different. A lot of frameworks, all you need to do is upload their, their package to your server and you're all set. There's a little more to it. Uh, you have to download the files and then you open the zip package and there are a couple folders but the folder named framework is the only one that we're going to really care about it, it includes all the files for the framework now you want to put this outside of your public directory so in our case our htdocs folder so we what, what i would suggest is putting it right in the xamp folder so after that you need to go to the ye.bat file uh, and use notepad or some kind of editor and you need to point to the directory of the php.exe file on your system in uh, my case with windows and xamp it's in c slash xamp slash php so once you do that you'll be able to open a command line uh, in windows you can go to the start button and then type in cmd and then you want to navigate to wherever you installed the framework folder and then you can actually create your application in the htdocs folder or wherever you want so to create your application like I said make sure you're in the framework folder uh, and then you want to type 
yik. Now yik is the application generator. So you want to just type yik and then web app and then you want to point to the directory where you want your application files to be. In my case it's going to be in htdoc slash ye. So I would be able to access this through http local host. Actually it wouldn't be we wouldn't have this htdocs. It would just be localhost slash ye. Alright, and that would give us a demo page, which you'll see. The demo page just has a home page. Um, I think it has a contact form and an about page or something like that. It's just a demo site for you to start with. For databases, ye comes bundled with SQL Lite, which is a very lightweight serverless database that basically just stores stuff in files. Um, it's very light but it's not very powerful so on bigger applicate medium to, to bigger applications I'd suggest using MySQL. I use it no matter what size the application just because I like it better than SQL Lite. Um, I actually don't have too much experience with S SQL Lite. So to do this, to use MySQL, all you have to do is go to the config slash main dot PHP folder and comment out the line that refers to the SQL Lite information and then uncomment the MySQL lines and add in your um, database name, user, and password. So once we create our application, we can we can actually create controllers, models, and views very easily. Um, and there's a tool called GI. So this comes bundled with YI, and it's basically a scaffolding tool. Um, you can generate not not only controllers, models, and views, but you can generate modules. Um, and I think there's a couple other things, maybe widgets that you can generate. And um, to be able to use GI you need to go back to that config slash main dot php file and uncomment the reference to gi and then you'll be able to go to uh, local your site or local host whatever you're working on and then just go to index dot php question mark r equals gi and that'll take you to the the um, landing page so that is creating an application in a nutshell. Um, it'll be easier when we actually do it. So we'll be doing that in the next few videos.